to, but I don't know how that works. Hey, Dean, can you do me a flavor? What? Can you run upstairs, go into the mechanics chest, and grab me two powered rails, please? Yeah. Oh, wait, upstairs, I actually have... Oh, hi. I have Intel HD Graphics 5000. Ooh. Whatever that means. <laughs> I can I got a 1.3 gigahertz Intel Core i5. Ballin. Four gigabytes of dedicated dedicated WAM. The graphics you already know, and I'm not gonna share my serial number for the internet to have. Yeah, they don't want your serial number. Storage, seventy-five gigabytes available. That is sad. Out of how much? Well, it's only got one hundred twenty-eight. So Rip. All right, just it's put right them there. in. A, okay, can you put them in a chest, please? My inventory is full. Okay. Thank you. Did you guys yeah. see the iPhone X? No. Don't care. Yeah. Hey, Apple. Edition Similarly, don't line. care. Yeah, don't care. It's got 3D oh. face scans. Oh. Okay. I got cork from your back. Yeah. There you go. Nobody likes That's iPhone. Right Thank just, you. Just... Yeah, because they're expensive and overweighted. Yeah. Fight, it's fight. just mm -hmm. garbage. That's why I had to call oh. you garbage a second oh. time just now. It's just expensive garbage. Just what else garbage. is new? Like, uh, oh, guys, guys, I get my driver's license next week. Oh, God. <sighs> nice. What kind stay of car do you have? Stay off the sidewalk. He has a Volvo. <laughs> Wait, he Dean, has did a you Volvo. ask that question? He has his amazing, I have a, his beautiful red. I have a glorious, sweetest comrade machine of Swedish glorious comrade. excellence. Where are you? Sweetest I'm gonna comrade. You I'm gonna hate comrade. You. I'm gonna deport you. I'm gonna deport you. <laughs> I have a Volvo. It's a 2012 Volvo S60 T5. Uh, hey, Passion Red S60. By far the most I, I have comprehensive the, piece. Passion Red. I'm the first year of the Type 5 body style of the El Camino. Yeah, you poor thing. 20, 2012 was the first year of the new S60 body style. I need some redstone torches. I got yeah. that. No, I got them. I, I won't I, be I a can make them in when hand. I can haul Wait, a speaker Dean, behind why do you, car. Dean, yeah. why do you ask? <laughs> because Dean likes cars. Dean, what kind of car do you have? Uh, 2006 GMC Envoy. Nice. It's big. Oh, in a wreck. Yeah, it's... It's a Enough room in the back for activities. Yeah, which means a huge car. <laughs> You? It's not that, that huge, actually. I bet I get the best gas reserve. My dad's Denali. I bet I get the best gas Wait, Alice, what kind of gas mileage do you get? Uh, I actually cowsk it out, and I've gotten, uh... I got, like, 25. What oh, the hell? Yeah. yeah. I get, like, 16, normally. <laughs> I get, like, 22. <laughs> if I'm driving good. <laughs> wow. Well, I have the turbo five cylinder. What do you expect? I also have a, a five turbo? cylinder without a turbo. Yes, I have a turbo. Get over it, Dean. Mine's got a turbo. No, it's just a turbo. Well, it doesn't AM a turbo like like destroy gas mileage or something. Clearly, turbos actually help. <laughs> I thought. Depends how you drive it. If you drive modestly. If you if you drive like it has a turbo, then no. <laughs> yeah, which I do. Except when my grandma's in the car because she gets because scared. Grandma. <laughs> She's like, Graham, you need to slow down. I'm no. like, I'm going the I'm going the speed limit. <laughs> like, I'm going two miles an hour. I can't go any slower. I'm dumb. That's not how this What'd works. You do? I forgot how redstone works for a second. Well, actually, I was in my mom's car. Dean, it's a Mercedes with the twin turbo V8. <laughs> so, <laughs> and there was this guy, he was like in a Subaru WRX STI, like one of those, like, and he uh -huh. had like the exhaust and like the stance wheels and everything. <laughs> and and we were at a stoplight and we were the first ones and I just floored it and I pulled on him. <laughs> you pulled on him? What? Like I was ahead of him. <laughs> oh. And then he cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, what these guys... Yeah, like, it doesn't last you know, like, for long, does it? Yeah, like, what these guys don't get is that Japanese cars are very underpowered. 
Like one or two liters normally. I, I, I think. That's a car. I have two and a half liters. All hail glorious. I I got like a four point two. You can get liter. you can get a lot out of two liters. It's you know Especially, it's not all yeah. about the size of the engine. Like Porsche. <laughs> it's how you use same, it. They get the same performance as Lamborghini does out of a V12, and they only use six cylinders. I can do this. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a Porsche fanboy. That's like my favorite. Well, I'm more of a GM guy. If I could have a if like if I had like a daily driver, it'd probably be a Volvo, and then like if I had a fun car, it'd be a Mercedes AMG or a Porsche. Fun car for me would be a M Corvette or or M Camaro. What's this American no. bias bullshit? Give, give me my, Alfa my, Romeo. My mom's Maserati is fun as hell to drive. I enjoy that. Your mom, I bet your mom, does your mom really have a Maserati? Uh, yeah, Maserati TC convertible. What year? Uh, 1987, you're, I want to say. Swag. You're shitting me. My Maserati does 185. Oh, how, 1989, many sorry. how many problems does it have? All of them probably. All of them? None. <laughs> that looks like a terrible car. What, the freaking Maserati? Yes. Well, maybe you look like a terrible car. Oh, so I have to admit the new Alfa Romeo, the Julia, the sedan. Oh, uh, the Julia is that, sexy. That is <laughs> nice. I can't, wait I, to, guy, I can't wait to go to another Fiat Freakout so I can, like, hang out with people who have those. That'd be a what, what? Maseratis? No, uh, the, the new Alphas. There's a guy that I know, he's in our NMRA region, and he has a, he's had it since he was in college, and he was in the British Sports Car Club of America, and he has this old Alfa Romeo convertible. Ah. That's not and British. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> what does he have? No. What was he? I don't know. He owned, like, Triumphs and all kinds of stuff like that. Okay. But then he, he bought his Alfa Romeo in college. Ah. And oh. he joined, like, the European Sports Club Park. And he, now he's like he's restoring. He's doing full restoration on it, and it's beautiful. Oh my bad, Chrysler TC by Maserati. Actually, oh. <laughs> yeah. It, well, same thing. Same this main. Makes me think of the, uh... Same beautiful car. I will race anyone Lovely, in my though. Volvo. I mean, I will too. Lucky... It just I just won't uh, you know get anywhere. I'll, I'll Lucky... I just won't win. I... Oh if I'm God. worried about winning, I'll just drive my mom's car. <laughs> give me that. Give me. Give me. Here. My my car, or my mom's convertible, was built in three different places: Tuono, Italy for stamping. Torino. So Juan, Italy for assembly, and then Milan, Italy for final assembly. It, it's a really nice car, but if that thing gets totaled. You can't find parts for it. Yeah. Or just damage it yeah, all. Well, yeah, well, you same with your uh, El Camino. Uh, no, you can find parts for that pretty easy. <laughs> well, there's also the fact that it doesn't run. <laughs> well, it, it runs, actually it does. Doesn't, well, it doesn't drive for like that. What did I come it up does. here for? I don't remember what I came up here for. It, does it? does drive. Oh, yeah, how far? Two feet? <laughs> Two blocks. He blocks he and dies. Here for something. Milky, you just have to get like the list Science. of El Camino that I sent a picture of no. a long time ago. No, I, I don't have a small dick. I <laughs> don't need to compensate for it. <laughs> I see so many people like peel out up the hill near the dorms here and I'm like, I'm so sorry for your penis. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry about your penis. Also, See, I'm going to take I, down this sign because I need it. Thank you, Skiriyoshi. I have a front-wheel drive, so I can't burn out. Yeah, no. Yeah, but you yeah. still can. It's not it as easy, but you stupid. can. Yeah. But you can't drift a front-wheel drive car. There's, there's this yeah. kid that I know. He got a Jaguar XJ6 from the 90s, and it's got a 4-liter V6. It's ridiculous. Oh my God. And then, like... We were at church, and he would just drive around the parking lot doing donuts in this big jag. It was ridiculous. Uh, I was like, how does it even drift? Uh, Dungs, what, what are you doing near my house? How do you spell your... Okay, wait, how do you spell your town's name again, Milky? 
L E I R X O your horn. F N. F N? Yeah, F N. Okay. Sure. Uh, Dean, Dean, Dean. What's the fastest car you've ever been in? The fastest car? Probably my brother's Dodge Charger. Uh, okay, the fastest car I've ever been in is a Chevy SS. Like the new one. Sparrow SS. No, it's a Chevy SS. It's like a Malibu, but it has a Corvette engine. Okay. Zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds. LS swap. What are you doing in my town, dude? <laughs> that that car was awesome. Probably the funnest car I've ever been in is a 1991 BMW 325i. I got to sit in a Tesla once. Yeah, I've sat in a Tesla. It was like I sitting never... in a spaceship. Yes. <laughs> it's like, this Hang is on, amazing. I got to go. Oh, scrub. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on Dunks. Okay. On, on Dunks mast. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't trust like ninety percent of the people. I go through my town. <laughs> I, I don't trust anyone. Does this work? <laughs> Is it, will this work? Do I need another repeat? I need at least two more repeaters actually. But the ten percent that I do trust are the idiots that I co-founded this town with. <laughs> put that back. Uh, let's see if I can put back the rails right now. I'm. I have one extra piece of gravel. Where's it from? Wow. Oh, he's just checking out the railroad, seeing where it goes. Goes out to the forest. <laughs> Open the chest. Which is out of town boundary. Open the chest. Okay. Open the okay. chest. Guys. I don't get to drive the yeah. Volvo. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> My mom's gonna take it to work. <laughs> so I'll probably just end up driving my grandma's lovely Super Forester. Hey. hey. You should see the Subarus tearing up the woods when TJ and I went to a New England Forest rally. Yeah, rally. You sent videos on this. Oh, yeah. Well, I sent, I sent a video. He probably sent more. Like... Holy cow, though. But it's not fun. It's, mm. it's less power in a heavier vehicle than mine. Then. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, those those things are those things kill it. Uh, all right, actually, this will be the Lear. Lear well, like the Beautiful. only problem I have is with the naturally aspirated engine. Like you push on the gas, the revs go up a little bit. You push on the gas, the revs go higher, and then you get more power. Like, it doesn't, like, rev and then rev through the gears. Oh, but, like, crap. goes. It's dumb. But, whatever. Short check. Oh, short that's, check. this short is where check. it was from. I accidentally put a piece of cobblestone here. Sorry if you picked that up, Oh, Dean. I got it. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Thank you. I wish I could just drive my mom's car again. Oh my god, sister. Just put that there. <sighs> Let me see. Give me this. Who's going? Hello? Strasvutia. TJ. Speaking of the New England Forest Rally. Oh. Is that is this really? Is it, did I come in at such a good time? I mean, we were yeah, talking we were about just... Subarus because Graham was talking about that oh. he's going to drive a Subaru oh. right now. Where well, is no, Graham? Graham here? Graham yeah, is I'm right here. here. What kind of Subi? What are you driving? A Forester. <laughs> a Forester? My grandparents' Forester. Oh, okay. So it's just a regular Forester, not like the turbocharged version? No. I, I was going to drive my Volvo to get my sisters from gym with my grandma, but my mom's driving my Volvo to work. Well, okay. Let me so. push this button and see what happens. Yeah. All right, that works. I get to start writing a screenplay. Woohoo! Really? I get my driver's license on the 20th. Woohoo! Yeah, I have to start writing a screenplay because I just found out today that I can't. So, for one of my colleges, uh, the one in Chicago, I have to 
to simply put together my best work into like a five minute compilation, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I figured out that for every single other college that I'm applying to, I have to actually make a movie. Oh. <sighs> Rip. 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 Well, so I'll know. I had an idea. Like, I have an idea ready to go. I just had to figure out how to write it. And I never write my movies, I always just shoot, cast, and edit them. So, this has got to be a trip, I guess. Well, so, you're saying that, that Frisco was unscripted? No, no, you just didn't I, write the script. I I work in a group, and I like co-wrote the script, but I didn't really write it. I like oh, came up with the idea, and then I cleaned up the script to what we had originally planned on making the film about. Like I made sure it stayed to the idea that we originally had after it was written, and then I cleaned it up for the next draft of the script. But I didn't write. I didn't do the middle part. There's a middleman there. And I'm usually not that middleman, but for this movie, I have to literally do everything except for act. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm short with well, Dean, in do you, the movie. Dean, do you have a piece of gravel on you? Gravel? No. Why am I, oh, I like, I'm a, googling? I'm a, um, I must go now. now. Goodbye, right, comrades. Bye, Graham Track. <laughs> Where did this mysterious piece of gravel go? I'm, oh. I'm missing one now. I don't know where one gravel would have gone. I thought I had one too many, and now I have one too few. Like, I have the idea. I know what I want to do, but... Actually, putting those words to paper is mission impossible. I know the Cause feeling. Because I'm, th- <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking in what I want to see is the final product, not as what. What has I know how to it. get? I know, I know exactly. I'm like looking at it, like I can see the scenes that are playing out in my head, but I cannot write them down. Like I could tell you what shots I want so far, <laughs> and like what edits I want, but I cannot tell you what the screen play is going to look like and it's really annoying i mean do you have like what's your basic idea so here's what i'm thinking um i hate this door god damn it i was originally planning so we have comedy for the are you kidding me genre this year so originally this is before um i found this out this is just like oh we can use this as one of our shorter projects or we can do this as when we have extra time after school and stuff uh so it's a dark comedy um it's about this kid or these two kids so i have kind of like been working the idea around in my head um and so these two kids are like out to lunch and they are sitting across the table from each other talking and the conversation comes to this one part and the kid one of the kids goes like he's kind of sketchy he goes so I had this amazing date last night. Like I, I had a date with this girl. And so he's like, okay. And the other friend's like, okay. So we'll say friend one is sketchy, friend two is not. So friend one says that. Friend two is like, yeah, all right. So like that's pretty cool. And then friend one says, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we, it was a really nice night out. And then it would cut away to a night scene like only illuminated by headlights own like with fog like coming off of like like in front of the headlights like the streams of light coming off from the fog and like a girl running towards the car like screaming (laughs) and then it'd go back towards and then it'd go back to the conversation he's like yeah and he's like oh dude that sounds pretty nice and he goes yeah we went for this amazing walk in the woods and then it would cut back to the like it would just cut back and forth you know what i mean from the horror scene and the conversation and so, like, as he describes this date, like, more and more is told about the date, more and more is shown in the cutaway sequence, like, the horror sequence. Mm-hmm. And so, kind of the final kicker is the kid at the end, friend number two, let's call him, says, Ah, oh, man, you know, like, I wish I could have a date like that. Like, that sounds awesome. And then it's revealed that he is actually the killer of the girl. It's not <laughs> sketchy. Oh, okay, that's great. Like I think I think that's pretty cool in the way that it would play out, and I think it's really different, in my opinion, because like 
All right, I guess nobody's gonna sleep tonight. So I think I think I feel like no, that's fine. a good. Oh god damn it! I know it's not. It's just not happening. I guess. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother. I, I'm gonna go AFK fish. That, that actually. That actually looks like. It, that actually sounds like it'd be funny. I would watch that. Yeah. As long as I can have a cameo. But the truth. Just kidding. I. But. If you want my assistance on this, I will... I will help. I might need help writing the screenplay. But other than that, I think I'll be good. I just... I'm really, like, stressing out about it because I need to do this very quickly. Mm -hmm. I only have, like, less than a month. Oh, wow. And I have to... Write the screenplay, which is, like, two days. I'm not worried about that. I have to find actors. I have to find locations. I have to schedule the actors for the locations. I have to shoot. I have to edit. And then I have to, like, watch it a million times. And then I have to edit it again. And then I have to send it to college and hopefully get into said colleges. Yeah, and that's and that's all of the schools except for Emerson? <laughs> uh, except for Columbia. Oh, okay. Emerson is one of the ones that... That does require it? That does require it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that works. One direction works, at least. One direction from one thing. No, no, come back. Stop, stop, no! Thank you. I have everything except for the ceiling now. Yeah, for film and media art, creative portfolio requirement says, submit work that gives the committee the best sense of your creative potential. This can be media work, film, video, sound, interactive work, etc., but can also be writing samples, photography, uh, music or performance documentation, or scholarly work. For linear work, submit 10 to 15 minutes of material. It can be a single... Wait, what? This is something totally... Oh, this is graduate. That's why I was like, what? Hmm. That's not what I read earlier. Film, BA, BFA. There we go. Alright, I can go through my impossible to enter door. Uh. God damn it! <laughs> didn't work. It didn't work the first time, it worked the second time. Media yeah. production applicants. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it says applicants to the media production major within Emerson's visual and media arts department, both freshman and transfer, are encouraged to submit a creative sample as part of their application. Creative samples can be submitted in the application portal after the application has been submitted. It may include a film or video submission up to five minutes in length, a five to ten page script or screenplay, an audio or sound clip, digital photography. Mm hmm. If I ever get enough quartz to finish the entire, to do the entire station in quartz, I think I will. Yeah. Oh. We look at creative samples to see your current skills and to assess your potential. Creative samples should showcase your creativity, feature meaningful content, and demonstrate your artistic sensibility and technical sophistication. Keep in mind, though, that your creative sample should also stand on its own. How you achieve these sometimes competing goals is ultimately up to you. For example, sometimes your artistic sensibility will require you to abandon com complex... What? What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. For example, sometimes your artistic sensibility will require you to abandon complex craftsmanship. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sometimes, but like, like... Oh, I get what it's saying now. Okay, never mind. It's saying like... Like... Shut up! Ooh, Whoa, what? do you think Rick did space prison? Ooh what? It's, uh, Are you still recording? Yep. What's up? Oh, hi. What's up? I'm dropping my brother off at my mom's work. Okay. 
Are you going home after that, TBA, or are you going to work? Nah, dude, I'm off in, for three days, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, let's play some G Ames. Uh, G Ames? I no, might not. No, he, he can't. A, He's a got G a thing. Wins. You're lame. Mm, You're yeah, child. I have to write a screenplay. But he has to uh, go to college. Go to college. Yeah. Go to college? Go to college to get some knowledge. Drop, drop out of college. Drop out of college. Drop out of college. Knowledge is power. It's funny because so yeah. I posted. Uh, I posted. The more you yeah, earn, uh, the more you drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. My brother just showed <laughs> a meme of the um, the cops looking for the dude and he's hiding behind the chimney and it hits the couch and is when you got five stars in GTA and you're waiting for it to cool down. Yep. Well, you know what? I, uh, I need a detector rail. So I, I, I posted my uh, my. So I posted on my uh, Reddit, or I posted on r slash filmmakers um, a couple days ago, uh, the western that I made. Mm -hmm. DJ, what was your Snapchat story? Oh, this kid was stand my friend's brother, little brother who was pretty cool. He was. Stand Standing in front of my car, I was trying to pull out of my parking space, and he wouldn't move. I know, you're like, get this bean out the front of my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I posted it, and I said, my name is TJ, I'm 17 years old, and I'm looking to go to film school next year. Here's my first major project, I'd love to hear what you think about it. And someone said to me, my advice, don't go to film school. Save yourself a 30K and make a couple more films on the, and expand on your skills. So many people on here went to film school and come to this forum for asking what they should do next. You've already accomplished more than 90% of the people who go to film school. Keep doing what you're doing and you will make it further than most of them. I agree with that. Yeah. What you, do you, you don't mean you need to that. go to school to get good at what you want to get good at. The yeah, I know, but I, I want to get better. Than yeah, I, don't, I don't. Th I don't think there's anything wrong with going to film school. Like, no, I think there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, avoid like, it. Like but... the thing is, you know, a lot of people are probably gonna, like a lot of studios are probably going to look for somebody who went to film school just because. Well, yeah, and, well, see, and then you'll have the argument, two things. That's the that's where the argument lies, though. That's what I'm saying. So, so this is like a big debate actually in the film community right now on whether film school is actually worth it. And what my film teacher has been telling me, because I've like asked him, I've said, hey, is, should I actually go to film school or is it not worth it? Should I just continue doing what I'm doing? And he said that if you find a good, if you find a school with a good internship program, which means they are trying to help you find jobs immediately, which is exactly what Columbia College Chicago is doing, then you will be fine. Like, it will be worth it to go to film school because the, the connections you make and the people you meet and the jobs you may be able to get with the name of the school. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I were to go to Emerson, I'd have so many more connections than if I stayed in Rhode Island and made movies. Or if I went to Columbia College, I'd A, get better at what I'm doing, B, meet professors who are in the industry because all the professors at Columbia College Chicago have to be in the industry when they teach there so like uh there was an example that one of the broadcasting network uh like act like broadcasting teachers uh works at the nbc building a block away and they leave from their morning broadcast to come down to the school and t teach and then they go back to the studio and film their afternoon broadcast which i thought is very interesting because it's good to know that everybody, that people that work there aren't out of touch from what you're trying oh, to learn. What? Hmm? Oh, right there. Milky, how does the intersection right outside your place work? Uh, what? How does this intersection work? Yeet! Um, I believe you just tripped the Ebers, and it works just like uh, that. Well, yeah, me. sorry about that. Hey. You think it would have something that would make you go, but you just have to push yourself off, which is stupid. You're stupid. I, I didn't decide that. <laughs> yes, he did. Well, so. my schedule for the rest of September is out. I, I only approved him building the way it was. Uh, like, it's about where my involvement stopped with this way Okay.
I'm gonna ride all the way into, uh, I'm gonna ride back to, which way was it? Okay. I, I'm just down here in my basement, still AFK farming. <laughs> I wanna play some Rocket League. Uh, Sounds maybe. like a you problem, bro. Oski. Honestly, you should really try. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Wow. What happened? I crashed into somebody. Low. Oh, whip. So, you know, I listen to this rock channel, but, and they play everything, you know, like ACDC, Metallica, Motorhead, yeah. Bite Snake, but I've never heard Pink Floyd on here. I mean, that's not too surprising. If they're just into that kind of rock, Pink Floyd could, can be a departure. You know, it's, it's not the same kind of rock, you know, it's not rock and roll. It's sort of progressive rock or whatever. Like, like this is psychedelic like the, rock. The name of the channel is Ozzy's Boneyard, so it's kind of heavy. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah. no, you're, you're not going to hear Floyd on that. There's definitely channels on Sirius XM that play Floyd, though. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm... Wait, you listen to uh, Ozzy's Boneyard sometimes? No, but, like, I've gone through... Like, I know what it is. I, yeah. I have oh, Sirius gotta... XM. Dude, channels I am... I struggle with going on to Sirius XM because, like, I'm in... I don't know where to find the genre of music I've listened to. Because, like, all the all the music on there, like, has names, but it's, like, not what I'm looking for. There's, like... And then, do you have, like, the physical pamphlet guide? I wish. I used okay. to. My grandparents did, and then now I don't. Yeah, because my mom had Sirius XM in the Fiat, and the guide was so useful. Yeah, it was, and then, but like, you can go through and it tells you on my on my car screen what station it is. Yeah, yeah. that's what ours says. I mean, it could it like, could tell you what station it is, but the guide told you like what genre the station was and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, I can't like they're like named artists that like I have no clue who they are, and like I feel like I listen to such a niche music. Like the bands I listen to aren't very popular at all, but they're like also a certain genre that I like. Like I don't like every indie band, obviously. <laughs> And like, DJ just hates I don't things know. that are mainstream. Yeah, I'm a hipster. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's their sales buzz. <laughs> um, so I've just been like <laughs> playing off of Spotify. Like, I listen to my daily mix a lot on Spotify, which is based on your listening history mm -hmm. for like the past day or two, and then it creates artists that are like very similar or other songs by the by the same artists that you haven't heard. So it's I've been like mixing up my playlist a lot with that. That's really fun. Because, like, I found this kind of, like, off, offshoot group called the Bombay Bicycle Club, and they're pretty good. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. That's such a great name. I'm gonna do work, but later tonight... Go. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. I haven't written a screenplay in so long. I'm trying to remember the headings. <laughs> uh, screenplay headings. All right. Wait, do you have to make it a certain style? I I want I would like to. Okay. I would also love to story storyboard the whole thing, like actually do that because I never do for any of my movies. I always overlook it. Why is it so blurry? What are you doing? Oh, that's why, because I think it wants you to pay. Yep. <laughs> It's super blurry on Google Images because it wants you to, like, have to pay. Great. Hey, wait, why don't I just go on, um, silence, uh, um, uh, screenplay PDF. There's this website that releases all of the Paramount Guilds, that's what it is. Hmm. They release, they have, like, the original shooting... The final shooting script for Silence, the Martin Scorsese movie, mm -hmm. like the screenplay is just online. Sweet. It's awesome. I love that film, like film companies do this now, because I never knew that they did, and then I can always look back and like reference screenplays. Uh, all 
Alright. I'm so going to need to make a sand run, because I don't have a lot of sand. Int. Here, here. Crocodile alligator. Lunch. Uh. Table at restaurant. Day. What or the hell? night. Or, yeah, day. Oh. Excuse I me. I finally made some uh, TNT. TNT. Dynamite. I listened to For Those About to Rock today, because why not? It was actually, it was playing in the shuttle on the way back from, or on the way down from campus. You have a shuttle? Are your dorms that far off campus? Yeah, well, they're not close, but the the thing is, if the campus was flat, they would be much yeah, closer. <laughs> but we're at the bottom of a hill. And the, all, you know, all the academic buildings are at the top of the hill. Ah. So, so are you in a newer dorm, or are all the dorms down there? I am in a much newer dorm. Uh, in fact, these only started being dorms like five years ago. Ah. Uh. My parents home already. Oh, you know what I need to do? You know what I need to do? I need to put new signs out for the station because the station's done, and I gotta put the cake out as well. What's in here? That's another cart. A Mario Kart. Mason's house, please don't blow down. Just. Who's here? I'll be right back. Bork, 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 There. Um... What's today's date? Today's date is the 12th. Yep. Uh, Nine, twelve, seventeen. Oh, that's right. I need to put the ceiling on, still. I don't know what I want to do for the ceiling. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm, I'm just on the couch, really wide. To, Hold to on. The I'll be right back. Again, except I just gotta get out of the car. Do I have a fortune? I do. Actually, that doesn't matter. Um. Maybe I should use a soak touch one for it. Wait, this one isn't breaking though. I need lots of clay. Wait, no. How do you make concrete again? I don't know. I literally just sat down and he's barking again, but it's worse, so I think someone's actually at my house now. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm going to go look because it's going to make me nervous if I don't. Do you need me to shoot him? I, I haven't unlocked the recipe for concrete. Uh you, you need to get the recipe for big concrete. Yeah. Hey, Milky. Hey, what's up? You're in the middle of the platform for me. Oh, there you go. It fixed it. See, see the two uh, buttons. On my end, I wasn't even uh, in. Anyway. I didn't want to go this way. This place is gonna get yeah, buttons. Right there. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Where can I actually, this should be Leaper Horns slash Panama. Yeah. There's no one like you. It's just my neighbor across the street, I think. Also, I.